Jaya! Jaya! So we're gonna dive into more erotic topics. Yes. Yeah. So question number five, <laughs> it's what are the main difference and benefits from a normal sexual relationship to a tantric sexual relationship? So number one is the depth. It's mm -hmm. like when you have a, a, a tantric, when you engage into tantric sex, there is going to be a deepening of everything, the emotions, the sensations, because you bring in presence and you bring in dedication and intentionality. So that's the, the first one. The second one is that uh, you start diving into something that you can call energy sex. And energy sex is something that can be activated without uh, physical touch, mm -hmm. you know, simply through breathing techniques. If, for instance, if I start breathing in a way that becomes orgasmic, right? <sighs> uh, and you start diving into that, there is no physical touch. I'm not gay, you know, I'm not intending to, to have sex with this man. Um, we are just activating this field. So those are solo practices, right? So, for instance, if you are engaging into a self-pleasure practice, uh, most of the times that's going to involve physical touch. There is goal-oriented towards maybe an orgasm or towards, you know, having a peak experience. Whereas when we engage into energy sex, you know, vital sex, what I call vital sex, energy sex, then the goal is simply to activate this fire and this energy. So that's, that's another, another thing. Another one is uh, the depth of the connection that you can establish with somebody because the moment you activate the tantric temple and have sex within that context or engage into sensuality within that context, then it's not just two people, you know, you and your partner engaging into it. Uh, it is like the tantric spirit is invested into it. Mm -hmm. And so that changes the dynamics because suddenly there is like a force or an energy which is sponsoring that connection. And uh, it completely changes the experience because there is suddenly a deepening or there is a meaning that is given to it. Uh, another, another thing that is important is that look at, uh, at sexual practices or sensual exchange as a meditation practice. It means that there is awareness, it's a dedication, there is devotion to it, we sing mantras, we might breathe. And so all that creates really a field of, uh, of resonance with, um, with your partner that becomes really, really super profound. And uh, the best way to engage into it is to practice. Right? Mm -hmm. The more you practice, the better you become at it. If you look at it from the surface, from outside, and you go like, oh, I'm not sure, you try a couple of things, uh, that might already help, but the, the idea is really, the more you practice, the more you play with this, these ideas and these practices, these energies, then the deeper you're going to go to be, to be into it. So another brings me to the fourth point, which is practice. You know, most of the times when you engage into sensual connection with somebody without this being intentional, then it's just driven by passion. And so you feel attracted or you don't feel attracted. Whereas within the field of, uh, of tantric sex or vital sex, then what you can do is really start adding a little bit more structure and technique to it. So it's not just like passion. We're going to, you know, if you, if you stay within a certain uh, presence and touch practice and you, you keep on expanding it for like five, ten minutes, the level of awareness uh, becomes way, 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 way bigger because you isolate uh, certain core practices that allow you to go deeper into that. So, yeah, those are the elements that I feel are really important to understand. Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs>